transport workers up and down the east and Gulf Coast, they remain on strike this morning, Austin, and it has a really wide ranging effect. It really is, Betty, and this morning, thousands of port workers are waking up this morning, either staying home or actually heading to the port, not to work, but to rally for change. We're talking about calls for more money and better job protections. Of course, this is impacting ports right here in South Florida. We've got two big ones, Port Everglades and Port Miami. They certainly handle a lot of shipments. I can tell you just this morning, we are seeing a lot of folks out there at Port Miami. Take a live look as once again, we are seeing those dozens and dozens of workers showing up there alongside their union there calling for that change. We know Port Everglades handles about 40% of our container cargo there in Port Miami. They get things like fruits, vegetables and machinery. So let's talk about what could happen and how you might feel these impacts here. We're talking about shortages that could happen along with higher prices for things like electronics, cell phones and computers from Asian nations there that are brought in through East Coast ports. Also cars and auto parts, especially for those European automakers because they will pass through the East Coast and Gulf Coast ports coming from Europe there. Also do want to let you know I've seen a lot of folks online. They've been buzzing about maybe impacts to gas. However, that is not the case. We have done a lot of checking and we can tell you uh, that there is no impacts to gas stations at this time, even though we have been seeing some of those lines building at some area gas stations.